Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel and uh, before starting the today's video, let me uh, thanks to everyone for giving such a wonderful response to uh, last video where we have seen the difference between the first angle method and third angle method. Uh, in that video, actually we have discussed uh, this two parts that uh, by using first angle, uh, how do I uh, show the uh, where the RHSV and where is the LHSV uh, similarly uh, applicable to third angle. But uh, in this video, uh, I, I'm just going to talk about uh, what exactly is this, what about this y-axis and what this x-axis is uh, talking about. So uh, with the help of some diagram, uh, we will reveal the what is the basic thought behind it. Because uh, this graphics is, uh, I, I, I hope this is a visualization is quite important. So while understanding this difference, um, we must uh, visualize keep what's the thought behind it. So uh, let's start the video. So uh, here you can see that uh, I have drawn one, I have drawn two planes. This is one horizontal plane, okay, and this vertical, this is the vertical plane. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, when the two planes, this horizontal plane and vertical planes are inter interacting. So this is the line of uh, interaction or the line of interference. Uh, we can see over here. Uh, the behind part which is not visible. So I have a drawn a dotted line so that you can visualize uh, that hidden part. Okay, so uh, you know what? Uh, while understanding this diagram or while understanding this thought, uh, you know what, let's understand first ki where is the job if I'm talking about first angle, okay. So uh, at the beginning, let's talk about the uh, the thought. This is what the diagram which we have discussed in the last video. And uh, we have understood that the front view is the above the horizontal plane and the top view is the below the uh, front view or below the horizontal plane and uh, LHSV must be drawn to the right of the front view that we have seen in the last video. But uh, let's discuss the how this is possible. Why LHSV at the right? Okay, so we have to discuss this thought with the help of this actual diagram. Okay, so here, here, uh, with the help of this blue colored pane and this green colored pencil, uh, I can show you the basic Dark outlines will be uh, uh, dark lines are drawn with the help of this blue color uh, paint, okay. And this green color uh, lines uh, are shown for just imaginary plane, okay. For that for your better understanding. So here, uh, let's discuss about the first angle method. Here you can see that this is the direction of viewing. This is the direction of viewing, okay. And let's say this is your eyes, or this is the direction of viewing. From which, if I start observing this frustum of a cone. The view which I can see that is that will be the front view. If if this object will be kept stationary as it is, and if I start observing the same object from this side, so this this side from this side, so this becomes the right hand side view. If I'm keeping object as it is, and if I'm changing my direction of viewing from this side, so this is the left hand side view. So keeping this object stationary and watching the same object from the left that becomes LHS field, watching from right, it becomes a RHS field. If I start observing the same object from the top, it becomes a top view. So, you know what, uh, in the first angle method, in the first angle method, this object is kept in the first quadrant. We know what, when horizontal plane and vertical planes are crossed each other, or interact or interface, at, interface each other, so this is the line of interaction or line of interference, okay. So now these whole planes are dividing four quadrants, four quadrant number one, two, three, and four one. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why I have, uh, why I have uh, kept this page over here because I want to reveal some part later. Now, here, let's uh, try to understand the first angle method. So here, uh, what we have done that, uh, we have kept this first of in the first quadrant. And if I start observing this object, from this direction, from the front view. So here, here you will find that uh, these are my eyes, or this is the observer, this is the object, and then there is a plane, that is the vertical plane. Okay, so we can say, 
comparatively that the object is placed between plane and observer okay in a first angle method ob object is placed between plane that is vertical plane and observer if we compare the same thought with this with the third angle method here here we can see that the object is placed between not a between not a between but we can say that the vertical plane this vertical plane is in between object and the observer or we can say in another way that object is behind the behind the vertical plane okay so observer plane then object in the first angle observer object this one and the vertical plane okay so let's talk about the first angle method in detail okay now now here here when i start observing you know what i'll start observing so the object projection will be focused on this vertical plane got it so you can see over here the green color uh, first a trapezoid right so uh, this is the front view that i can project on the vertical plane right and this vertical plane is definitely above the four number and three number got it four number and three number this four three line four three is nothing but the line of interaction or the line of interference okay this is the above four three i have drawn the front view right now now you know what i have drawn one imaginary box over here by showing their numbers that 1 2 then 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay try to understand the all the faces of this quadrants okay this is look like a box okay so try to imagine the all the faces for example if i am talking about this face so i can say the 5 6 7 8 if i am talking about this one this becomes a 2 3 6 7 like that so when i start observing the uh, observing from this side and if i want to draw its front view the front view is projected on the 1 2 3 4 that is the vertical plane 1 2 3 4 okay now now if i want to observe the top view so the my direction of viewing will be from top will be from top so in that case in that case i can see object clearly so i can project the object image on the on the horizontal plane so that horizontal plane big is the 5 6 3 4 3 4 5 like that okay so you know what you know what uh that is what the reason if i am drawing if i am drawing its front view it is obvious that the front view is the above the 3 4 line so you know what in this drawing in this drawing this x axis okay this x axis let's treat as a 3 4 okay and above this x axis above this x axis front view is the drawn at the top okay and and this horizontal plane which when 3 4 5 6 5 if i just tilt if i just unfold a tilt to the downward side direction i can draw that the top view okay the projected top view is on 3 4 5 6 plane and while drawing while drawing using first angle method the top view drawing will be shifted down will be shifted down right so that's why the top view is always at the bottom in the first angle and the front view is at the above the above the this x y or above the 3 4 right now now the next is the y l h s v is at the right of the front view okay now now you start observing the uh, same object you start observing the same object from the left hand side so this is the left hand side view direction right so you know what there are two imaginary uh, profile planes are like 2 3 6 7 and and 1 4 5 8 okay so when i start observing the lhsv lhsv i can see the object very clear okay and and i can project the small circle and big circle dark ribbon and it, will, it can be projected on this 2 3 6 7 profile plane right 
so you know what if i see lhsv is projected over the 2 3 6 7 right so you know what while drawing while drawing on 1 2 3 4 i have drawn front okay you can you see this direction so if i flip if i flip this 2 3 6 7 2 towards towards or uh, say anti clockwise anti clockwise direction so you can see that this lhsv is projected on this plane and can be drawn to the right of the front view can be drawn at the right hand right of the front view got it got it similarly if i start observing rhsv rhsv so in that case i can see the big circle and the small circle will be the even one that will be projected on the plane number 1 4 5 at and it can be flipped to the my left or uh, left of the drawing and can be drawn to the left of the front left of the front view got it so this is what the thought or technical fundamental behind why in the first angle method why a lhsv will be drawn at the at the right of the front view so this is what the actual answer and this is what the imaginary thought behind it now let's talk about the third angle method so now just hide the geometry and simply we will focus will focus on the sorry i uh, will focus on the this part okay now now in this case always remember the object is placed in the third quadrant right object is placed in the third quadrant now it is very obvious that this is the direction of viewing this is the direction of viewing right so observe is observe is over here then plane vertical plane and then object okay so plane is in between object and observer in case of third angle method in the third angle method so right now you don't watch this top side diagram let's talk let's talk about this third angle method diagram okay now better way i'll just uh, shift my drawing sketch book up okay fine so here here i have drawn another uh, another imaginary plane for your understanding okay so here here you can see that four plane number 4 9 10 and 3 then 13 11 9 and 4 then 13 14 then this is the number 3 and 4 okay so try to imagine this one okay this projections even there is one more imaginary plane that is the 14 12 10 and 3 okay now now if i start observing from this side okay from this side so so this vertical plane can be a transparent plane this vertical plane it can be a transparent plane so you know what this object is behind this plane so the projection the projection can be drawn on this plane on this vertical plane right so i'm not going to project this drawings or projection towards this side this can be drawn over this side okay this side so on this vertical plane i am going to project i am going to project right now you know what now you know what now same object the same object if i start observing from the left hand side lhsv so its its projection will be drawn towards the plane like 9 11 13 and 4 9 11 13 and 4 so you know what the small circle and the big circle like this this is ca this can be projected on the vertical plane like 9 11 13 and 4 and this can be flip uh, this can be rotated in anti clockwise direction that's why the if i just tilt this plane if i tilt this plane like this okay we will find that this lhsv is projected left hand side view is projected to the left of front view only so that is why in the final drawing you will find that lhsv is always at the left of front view this is front view this is left hand side and lhsv is drawn at the left hand side only okay if i start observing this object from right hand side from the right hand side so so here here from the right hand side 
there will be a imaginary plane number 10 12 14 and 3 right 10 12 14 and 3 so here the big circle can be drawn dark and this smaller will be a hidden part so this can be projected over which plane 10 12 14 and 3 and this plane 10 12 14 and 3 can be rotated towards the right hand side in clockwise direction and in that case the RHSV will be drawn to the right of front view got it and in this four quadrants in this four quadrants it is obvious that the object is placed in the third quadrant right so definitely the line of interaction 4 3 below the 4 3 I am going to draw front view right and LHSV just left of the front view and now the time comes when I am going to think about the top view in that case in that case this is the direction of viewing from the top right when I start observing the same object from the top in third angle method there will be a horizontal plane number 4 13 14 and 3 and then object can be seen so object projection can be projected on which plane 4 13 14 and 3 okay you know what here here i have drawn this this projection and this projection so for your understanding in third angle method if i've started observing from the top so from this image from this projection and this projection which one which one is the correct one as per the third angle method this one is the correct one and this projection is the wrong one got it so what we are understanding from this you know what in the third angle method in the third angle method if i start observing from the top the object projection will be on this plane if i started observing front view the object projection will be on this vertical plane if i started observing from lhsv then lhsv will be will, will be drawn on the plane like 9 11 10, 13 and 4 in this way right so that is what the technical reason behind this quadrant and the thought behind why in case of first angle method lhsv at the right of the front view and why lhsv is at left of front view in case of third angle this is what the reveal uh, answer between these two things. I hope uh, you have understood this video and uh, I hope you have, uh, if you find anything or any doubt, uh, we can discuss later. And if possible, one more video will be based on the first angle and third angle method. Uh, I'll just uh, post very soon on my channel. So thank you all. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.